a student speak in front of you. So you don't just hear from academical uh, point. Uh, I'm not an academical person. So in my life, I spent on internet marketing around 11 millions from the old schools I worked. So I will not tell you academical and theories, which you will uh, have heard enough today. More than eight hours hearing the theories. Uh, when I was in Darden in the US, uh, we had a professor speaking about online marketing. However, he is what always giving theories and asking, can you please tell me how much did you spend on Google AdWords, for example? He said, zero. How much did you spend on Facebook? Zero. Okay, I spent millions. So can you compare just theory to reality? That's why we will try to give you experience which I faced in spending millions. Okay, not my millions. I was just hired. That's why I could spend millions. <laughs> if it was my money, I would not spend that much. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to be about, uh, I studied in USA, in UK, and in Switzerland, in different universities. Some of them maybe you know, some of them maybe you don't know. Some of them were good experience, uh, some of them were okay. So we'll go again about our uh, university. We are based in Switzerland, uh, in Zurich and in Zug. The official address is in Zug, but uh, the operation office is in Zurich. Uh, we teach usually business. Uh, and we are open for any partnerships and uh, corporations as well. <laughs> uh, we have on Facebook, we are quite new, we are uh, on Facebook since two years. Uh, we have around 8,000 uh, Facebook fans. Today when you say the, from the US that you have only 17,000, it was a shock. Like if you have 5,000 students per year, only these guys come to add you, you will have big number. Uh, on, on Twitter we have around 1,700 and only on, on uh, YouTube, our official video, just the official video, I'm not talking about the whole videos which we have, we have around 80,000 views. So today I was surprised about how you do it in the US. <laughs> uh, we'll go first point. Uh, many of our accounts, they have fake, uh, uh, fake Facebook followers. It's easy, you can easily buy for $200, you will have up to 30 or 80 or 80 million I believe now there are more than 100. So more than 100 fake accounts. But in the re reality, these fake accounts won't help you. It will help you maybe just one or two months because the Facebook now, they are deleting any user you have who is not active on your Facebook. So if you have, like I believe once they will say, Justin Bieber has a uh, few millions, uh, then Madonna, she said, no, I have more and so on. So they were fighting who has more and they had many fake accounts. Uh, in the end, if you see now, they have them a little bit less. So don't buy fake accounts or fake uh, users. You can easily buy them for a few hundreds, but it won't help you. You will not get more students. You will not have better results. <laughs> On Facebook ads, they are now, uh, they had the biggest was the mobile ads, you know, before. Now, since one year, they are uh, putting in the middle of your small, device, you know, in the middle they put an advertisement, one year ago was not possible, now it is possible. On Facebook account, there's a good advantage to have an account on Facebook and to make advertisement which you don't have on, <coughs> on uh, Yahoo or Bing or AdWords or LinkedIn. LinkedIn is quite expensive to do that experience. <coughs> uh, on Facebook you can say, okay, I am for example in uh, Serbia, I am a local university, I want only students from 17 to 25 and you can market only these guys. So you don't have to invest money in your own place. This is a good thing. But on the other hand, I must say from the experience, uh, many of people who go to Facebook, they are not looking for education. They are looking to speak with their friends. Facebook is a good tool to remarketing. It's not a tool to marketing itself. What I mean with remarketing, on Google, for example, is a good tool for marketing itself. So on Google, when I search university in Serbia, for example, or in Switzerland, ABMS or your university will appear. And then when I go to my website or on Facebook, my account on Facebook, then on the right side or somewhere it should appear your link as well. Then this is good. Then he feels more trust. You know, Facebook for some of the people, this is like small home. You know, this is my account. This is where I see myself. Here are my friends. Here are my family. So if I see now again university logo here, okay, maybe now I can use it. But don't use Facebook as the only tool to recruit students. It's not going to help. We spent once on Canada, we had the experience in Canada, we spent 30,000 euro to recruit students from Canada through Facebook. We didn't do the AdWords. We got zero students. This was an experience in 2009. Maybe now it's changing a little bit, but that's why. Don't use Facebook as only marketing tool. 
Stories, uh, uh, sharing stories, this is very important. Yesterday, uh, we had one student who is the CEO of Mercedes in Brazil. Uh, he was a speaker in a conference in, in, the, in, in, in his country. We just published, we are proud of our student and candidate, and blah, blah, blah. And in less than seven hours, 25 people, no, 14 people liked, and no, 14 people, around 70 people liked our, from our students and potential students. This is not a big number. But if you are talking about education, your students are not always active. So if we say in seven hours, uh, 17 people like the, the post, which means this is something attractive. So sharing good stories bring students and attract more students. I want to show you a story about a uh, library, how they use Facebook in a very good way to make millions out of small budget. So maybe we can watch it. There once was a library, a beautiful, busy, award-winning library. Unfortunately, times were hard. 